Hi there, my name is Jessica Drossen and today I am going to walk you through a little tutorial on how to use these fairy tale forest digital backgrounds. So this is one of the two versions that I've created of this fairy tale forest uh, little tree uh, trunk area and we're going to just go ahead and I'm borrowing a baby image from the lovely Rachel Van Oven and we are going to just show you here quickly how you would put this baby image into this uh, digital background. So here is our baby image and as you can see it's roughly sized to where I want the baby to go. These digital backgrounds that I've created are, are pretty large. They're larger than most conventional uh, photos that you will see or backgrounds that you will see and it's just so that you can keep your baby images fairly large as well. If you if this bothers you at any point, you can simply go here and under image, you can change the image size. So right now it's at 10,000 pixels and you could change it to something that's a little bit smaller if you found that the file size was too large or that it was um you can change this image that you've got extra resolution to play with. We're going to just show this first image. This is from, again, Rachel, and I'm lucky in that this little cute headband here is going to sort of work with my the colors in my image already, but what I need to do is get rid of her original background. Now, there are many ways that one can go about getting rid of a background, but one that I tend to use is just sort of a down and dirty method, and in a situation like this where I've got basically two colors here at play, I'm going to just go ahead and use this little magic uh, selection tool. And it's set to a tolerance of about 32. And I'm going ahead and just uh, holding down on the shift key. And that is allowing more colors to be captured here. So I'm getting a bigger selection area. And then what I'm just going to do is once I'm happy, you see, I'll uh, zoom in here. Once you, once I've got sort of a nice rough outline, I'm going to go ahead and just click, well, and I'm going to hold the option key down. All right, so this is going to invert my selection so that I'm able to see the baby, but the background is mostly gone. Now, it didn't do a perfect job. We've got this weird little square here, so we're just going to go into the mask now. We're going to we're going to just make some quick fixes. I've changed my opacity here with a soft black brush to 100%, so I'm 100% getting rid of any little details that did not go away when I simply used my magical little selection tool here. What is it? actually called it's called the magic wand tool not the magical selection tool and I, again I'm just gonna come in and make sure that all this junk is gone Gonna zoom in a little too closer here and just see you can see this brush is real soft and I'm just going right up to the edges here with this very soft black brush and I'm using the softness of the brush to simulate the f-stop here the depth of focus in the image so just like these edges of the baby are a little soft so is my brush now I'm just going to continue with my soft black brush here at 100% opacity and I'm just going to very carefully go around these edges where you see a little bit of this pixely detail and I'm just going to soften that. And I can always go back but I'm just making sure to, to keep those areas very soft and non-pixelated looking. And I'm probably going to speed this up just a little bit. You're not going to miss any detail, it's just I don't want you to have to be sitting here watching me just go over these edges. I'm just going to be changing my brush sizes every so often, and in a few instances I might lower the opacity. 
just in a couple of areas right around maybe soft edges. Now as you work down here in this mossy area and with these little leaves and sticks, there are times where maybe you want to sort of let that overlap the baby's skin to make it look more real. So you will just sort of adjust your mask accordingly and maybe paint, leave some of those areas of the baby's skin uh, painted out so that a little twig can, can sort of come over so it makes, it makes it look like she's really sleeping in this adorable little forest. And I'm just coming back here and slightly, slightly, again, just going up against these edges and softening any little details, especially in the hair. Uh, a little bit of transparency is good for hair. You want to be able to see a little bit of that background detail. And now I'm almost done. I feel like this is integrating pretty darn well, so I'm going to zoom back out and I'm just going to double check my positioning. Now once I'm satisfied, I could even make another mask and just, you know, make sure that any areas of the baby that needed to go behind that log were behind it, or I could just make sure that if I was working with version 1, I was opening version 1 ping or, you know, version 2, version 2 ping and just place this ping over the top and match it. Try to match it exactly. Try to match it exactly to where the other version is. It's literally the same file and I have just already masked it out for you. If you want to soften anything, you can go in there and soften. Otherwise, it should be a little bit of a nice time saver for you. Then the next step I'm going to do is add another layer and using a soft black brush, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to paint in a little bit of shadows. When I'm satisfied, I'm going to gauge and blur those shadows. And I'm going to do this so that it's underneath of the baby by placing the layer underneath of the baby. And then if I want any shadows to go over the baby, I'm going to put another shadow layer here on top. Now this one will show on the baby and again, you know, just maybe lower the opacity a little bit. Now, any edits you want to do, you'll want to begin now so that the baby and the background are integrated. I'm going to just demonstrate uh, the uh, center stage instant overlay from the JD instant overlay set number two. And voila, we are done with this particular edit. And I hope that this was helpful for you guys. And please let me know if you have any additional questions, and I will try to address them. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.